subscribe to Man School 202. We got a lot of good comments. I saw, you know which, where we got a lot of good? The one with Lord Jamal. A lot yeah. of comments. There were I didn't some, even check it out. What? There were some people who were a little uh, pissed off. Not uh, There was one guy, really, pissed off about the thing you said about Patrice. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. And I responded to him. I oh, you responded did? to him. Okay, I yeah. responded he, to him. What was the thing he was saying? Uh, he was so, upset that you were saying we were that. Talking about, we were talking about, so, that, you know, often the people will be like, you know, they'll be talking about Patrice and, and they'll be saying he's a pimp. And I said, I basically said that if I was talking about, look, you, you can't call somebody a pimp if they're, if they're, you know, if they're buying pussy, if they're, if they're going over, you know, if they, and that, and so they got mad because they felt like I, Patrice wasn't there to defend himself. Um, oh, that you're disrespecting him or they something? They felt I was disrespecting him because he's my friend and such. And, and Question? So, yeah. You say you can't pimp and pay for pussy out of like the rules of the profession yeah right but don't chefs pay for meals sometimes you know they go to a different restaurant they know another good chef is there to go check it out you can still be a part of the the world of it you can still know you know we're, we're not talking about chefs though I'm saying in anything like you a no, comedian no, you still pay for same. a show it's not the same I mean just I'm asking you, I'm what I'm saying I mean let's be honest just because you cook and you're, you're a chef and you cook doesn't mean you can't pay for that doesn't make you not a chef because what makes you a chef is is uh is the fact that you cook and now what make you a pimp is the the fact that you can pimp that you, right that you you are that you, the yeah, no, yeah that you are the recipient of the money like that oh, is, okay that's part so that's of the lifestyle right and that's part okay. of the parameters so it's kind of like the same thing I say when I say that there's no good, good cops. Not because I don't think that there's good cops that are good people. What I'm saying is that the parameters of police officers doesn't allow human beings to be good cops in the parameters of, in the parameters of being a police officer. So, for instance, um, like I've said this before, if you're a police officer and you give other people PBA cards, you're not a good cop because the parameters of being a good cop means that you're supposed to uphold the constitution and uphold people's rights. Right. Okay. And you're supposed to, you're supposed to distribute the law with even justice. Now, mm -hmm. uh, what the first thing is that being a police officer allows you to be, has there's a discretionary aspect to like you just because every you don't have to give a ticket to everybody who's who's speeding you don't have to but you are supposed to protect people's people's rights so mm -hmm. and, and, and if the definition of that uh is is you have to protect people's rights that means if you're complicit to other somebody other people violating the rights that makes you a bad cop if you okay. break the law, you're a bad cop. If you take the perks of the job, you're a bad cop. And so even in the context of being a police officer and- The and perks too? The, absolutely. Because the parameters, uh, it's sort of like, it's sort of like being a priest. Like you can't, you, you know, I mean, look, nobody, nobody. You've chosen a profession where you're supposed to right, be the, better the, than the everybody else. Oh, when you say perks, you're not just talking about like nice things that come. You're talking about like negative perks. No, too? I'm saying if you, if you're speed, if you speed when you're not supposed to speed, right? Okay. If you're speeding going to lunch and you, you light it up and you go, yeah. you know, you go to the donut shop and then pull up your, if you double park, if you park in a handicap, Thing. Oh, you, but that's abusing the, the, the power of it, right? Absolutely, because the, it's okay. not just a, the abuse of it. It's it's even taking it. Look, if I don't know anybody that works in the office that doesn't take paper clips and paper. You know what I'm saying? And pencils yeah. and pens and shit like that. But being a good a good office worker is that your work is completed. It, it has one thing. It's not a direct relation to whether or not you took a couple of paper clips. So okay. I'm saying it. What you're asking police officers to do is be, um, is to be, is to be above reproach. 
and the system doesn't even allow Hold on, reproach reproach meaning you're supposed to be straight and narrow okay all the time you're not supposed to you're not supposed <laughs> to let you, you, part of it is not letting your human behavior dictate your bi or let your biases dictate justice is supposed to be distributed evenly no matter <laughs> what your biases are <clears throat> So you, what you're asking people to do is is really unrealistic to ask them to do. Now I'm not saying that there's cops that don't that are not compassionate. Not. I'm just saying that the parameters of the job is like, for instance, the thing is if they pull their gun, they're supposed to shoot the kill. So is that like in yes. writing somewhere? Yes. Yeah. That's Rook, in the training. It says if you touch the trigger, you're supposed if, to kill. If you shoot, you're not supposed to shoot to wound. Or to to wing them off, you're supposed to take them off a guy because your life, is, yeah, absolutely. But that's also why you're not really supposed to shoot unless your life is legitimately in danger. Because that's I, where the problem comes in. Question: Because I've seen, you know, documentaries about different different military training and whatever. They, I've seen mention of they learn exactly where to shoot. Yeah, to do they, what level of harm they need to be done. So that means that there is a thing where you're allowed to think, in okay, military. for this subject, in I don't need to. Not in, so uh, military not in is allowed to have more humanity than the policing of. I, it I depends. Don't, I don't know if you're talking about a sniper or, or what, what you're training. Now you're changing the degree of the I'm weapon just you asking. use. That's yeah. a different thing. You can right. still decide I don't know, where to shoot I don't someone. Know, I, don't know the, the, I don't know enough about military I didn't serve in the military. I, I don't like know. I have, I have friends and I have family members that did, and I have like even in Jamaica, my uncle's a cop in Jamaica. Like so, I've seen different expressions Yo, of war. There's no cops in Jamaica. Fuck <laughs> off! I've seen it in your smile, man. <laughs> I mean, what are they doing? Writing tickets for food that's not spicy enough? What What are you doing out in Jamaica? What does a cop in Jamaica do? A cop in Jamaica is is a is a professional bribe taker. Oh. <laughs> a professional bribe taker. That takes a good like, amount of skill. That takes a quite a bit of training. <laughs> well, yeah. If that's well, the case. Yeah. Well, I've seen yeah. training day. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you want to get wet? Um, you you want to do this or not? <laughs> so so the parameters are different. All I'm saying is the, the so what I was talking about when I was talking about now. Don't get me wrong. I'm not advocating that being a pimp is something to be proud of. It's not something to be a proud of. It's there's a there's an ethical issue, uh, but even in the, the, there's a conservativeness, even though in the unethical aspect of pimping. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, so there are these archetypes that this is this guy this does this, this guy does that, this guy does that. You know, um. So just like in the fire department, you have a hook guy who goes in and brings the, the thing down. You have a ladder guy, you, have, you know, whatever. So every, so what I'm saying, what I was saying was that there was individual, this tricks, hoes and pimps, and you can't be a pimp and, and, and pay for pussy. This is what I said. So everybody got mad at me because not even on occasion. Yeah, no, like, not on occasion. Because like, like how you say there's levels to it, right? And there's like. Pimps who are like glorified pimps with the best bitches ever, and you from a different part of town. Yeah, what with I'm like saying not the is, what I'm market. saying, the parameters of it is is very conservative. It's a very okay. conservative kind of thing. Not, I'm not saying it's not as conservative in terms of it's not unethical because it's something that I'm not proud of, really. Okay, I'm just saying if you're gonna talk about it, it is what it is, right? It's like saying who's the prey. Who's who's the carnivore? If you're a carnivore, you gotta eat meat, right? Yeah. That's what it says. It doesn't say you can't eat vegetables, but it means you eat meat. You okay. can't eat you can't eat vegetables and only vegetables, be a herbivore, and eat meat. The minute you eat meat, then you become a carnivore. That's what I'm saying. So I made a I made a, a distinction. But there's a middle ground where you are an omnivore when you do both. Yeah, but then that's a different classification. You can't oh. run around saying I'm you a vegetarian. I'm you the king of vegetarian. You can't say I'm a vegetarian and eat bacon. You can't, you can't mm. do that. You know what I mean? 
Like that, that's just not, you can't do that. Well, I mean, it's interesting, Dante, because I, maybe you take it a little more seriously because you actually pimped and you're talking about two different things here. Or, or when yeah, people say like the word, <laughs> when people say the word pimp now, it just, do you think they're saying that people have no, game? But this, but this is, yeah, but that's not what, that's not what pimping is. And, and let's say somebody's a, a player or a Mac is all of those have different, uh, this is, this is very, Deepak Chopra, where you just take okay. words and you 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 take words like con- quantum quantum physics and you give it a whole nother name that has a, a whole de- other description that has nothing to do with it when it has a when there's already been an established definition for what it is you're talking about. So, but that's neither here nor there. So I made the distinction, and people got mad at me because they said I was bringing Patrice down. Now let me let me just go on for the record. Um, Patrice was one of my best friends. Um, I would never be the comic that I am without him. Like the things, and a lot of the principles uh, were. I mean, we bounced stuff off each other. Right. But I had already had my own particular philosophy, which in some cases coincide with him. In some cases, it didn't. Well, hold on. Let's let's be realistic here. You had well lived the life of having game long before Patrice came around. Patrice helped you out comedically, no doubt. But right. But it had nothing to do with girls. He didn't teach me nothing nothing about women. Right. I mean, he didn't teach me nothing about women. Like there's nothing that he said that I was like, oh, yeah, oh, you're right. Nothing. Right. I, absolutely not. In fact, we disagreed a lot. And a lot of times I would tell him that, yeah, that's not, that's just not true. It's just not true. So um, I think people get the misconception because you were a rookie as a comedian and he took you under his wing well, a was, little bit as a comedian. Well, he, he, here's what happens. The, so, so I, I really had to think about, I had to think about, um, because, you know, it's it's interesting that, first of all, I was four years older than him. I had already lived a life before I met him. Um, I came to him in the in the, the sunset of my life. You know what I mean? I was I had already been married. I had been divorced. I, you know, I, I had, you know, I, I raised children and the whole thing. And I had a job and a, you know what I mean? So um. I was a grown ass man. So, so people, because people was like, oh, he was his right hand man. It really was a mutual friendship. We had a mutual friendship that, you know, we, you know, we were like minded and he was an v- extremely smart dude. And, you know, and he was an amazing comic and stuff, but he didn't teach me nothing about women. I learned nothing from him about women. We might've debated some things, but that just wasn't the case. So, um, so I thought about, um, I, I, so there was an introspective thing where I was like, am I being, am I being egotistical by or taking shots for a reason other than the, like, why am I, why is this important distinction? Now, don't get me wrong. I have had, you know, like we've been doing this podcast for eight years, right? Yeah. I, but I had been helping guys in relationships and with game probably since I was 20, you know, when I was 20 years old, I was doing that. Maybe even before that. No so, doubt. You were always helping people even before we were doing the podcast together, even before, even before we Black got Phillip, close. In fact, the reason why Patrice put me on Black Phillip in the first place was because he knew that I was talking that shit before the, before we even went on the radio together. So I, you, so, and and I and I do. It is annoying at times when people go, you know, people that have never heard anything other than the Black Phillips show, and they go, "Oh, this was his right hand man," or "Or I learned so much from you and Patrice." When some of them have been listening to me for eight years of doing this podcast, or even consulted with me directly, and somehow, somehow, it becomes lean in, some, there, It becomes somebody else's, you know. It's become some somebody else's credit, but I I really explored that, and I'm saying I'm not going to say that I'm not that it does it's not annoying at times, but but I would never take shots at somebody, especially at a friend, and I mean both of y'all know that I'm, that's just not sure, me to do that because if I'm taking shots, I'm taking shots 
you know I'm taking shots, and I don't have no qualms about letting you know I'm taking shots. Ask Will Sylvan. He'll tell you. Uh, and, and a few other. If I'm taking shots, it's, it's, it's evident. And, and both of y'all know me for a long time where you oh, know sure. it's sure. obvious when I don't like somebody. Yeah, I don't, you don't, I'm, you don't I, listen, I've had friends of mine that you don't like. Uh, that I, I've dealt with that. You're like, I don't like that dude. And you're cool I've about had it. girls you're... that you dated. I'm like, Yo, I don't like yeah. that bitch. And, yeah, and this true. is why. You man school 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man.